Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, backed by famous actors, writers and business leaders, a coalition of human rights organizations has launched a new call to the US President Barack Obama to pardon the former National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden. Coinciding with the release of the Hollywood film Snowden, the group held a press conference to make their case with an appearance from the whistleblower himself via video link from Thank Moscow. Everyone for coming. This really isn't about me. It's about us. It's about our right to dissent. It's about the kind of country we want to have, the kind of world that we want to build. It's about the kind of tomorrow that we want to see. Well, one country which might welcome Edward Snowden is Iceland, where the protest pirate party, which wants to offer him Icelandic citizenship, is hoping to be elected to government next month. Public protests forced the country's prime minister to quit his post in April after revelations about his wife's offshore holdings. Now they voted in a president who's never before held elected office and has Eurosceptic views. Well, he's been visiting the UK, so I sat down with him and asked him about the rise of the pirates. Yeah, uh, that's a symbol of the uh, uh, distrust towards the old political parties. So they percent. could get in, they could they form could the next government. In. Yeah, so we could end up uh, seeing a, a, a complex, drawn-out process when we try to form a coalition up there. Will the Pirate Party be able to work with the other parties? That remains to be seen. You have to make coalition uh, compromises. And, uh, and when you're an idealistic party like the Pirates, that can be pretty tricky. The Pirates Party has said that if they get in, they would offer Edward Snowden, currently held up in a hotel in Moscow, instant Icelandic citizenship. Would you welcome that? This is a good example of how the pirates would possibly have to compromise because were they to form a coalition and enter government, presumably the other parties in that coalition would have to agree on a step like this which would uh, uh, raise eyebrows somewhere, shall we say. Raise eyebrows in Moscow and in Washington. Yeah. Two very important strategic partners. Exactly. You're caught in the middle. We're caught in the middle. That was good during the Cold War. Mm -hmm but I don't know how good it is today. So you're new to politics. The prior party, which is also new to politics, might end up running the country. You've got your former prime minister who resigned in disgrace. You've got a couple of bankers still in jail. You're kind of showing the way, aren't you, for some people? We are not that concerned about that per se. We just want to do things the right way. And if, it, if we are an example to others, uh, let it be so. Brexit. Yeah. The big uh, topic of debate here, I'm sure you've been talking about it on your visit to the UK. Are you in favour of European Union membership or not? Uh, I want to see how things develop. You right. have to see what we get. Uh, Iceland, traditionally a uh, nation of farmers and fishermen. Fishing is so important for us economically and also for the national psyche, as it were. And you in Britain know that well. We are island nations, so there is this sense of uh, standing apart. Right. So that's one obstacle that those in favour of membership will have to uh, uh, cross. Uh, so there was a lot of sympathy in Iceland for the, for the vote in this country, on this island? Uh, yes, but there was also, you know, there was a camp who felt that uh, a wrong decision had been taken. Mm -hmm. And it could be tricky for you guys if you want to, if you want to reverse on all that. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, I'm not getting involved in British politics by saying that, am I? Yeah, you are. All right. <laughs> uh, what about the, the European Economic Area, the EEA? Yeah. There was this sense when we joined the EEA that we got the best of both worlds. Access to markets without having to go all the way. Mm. This is still uh, a strong feeling in Iceland, that we have what we need through the EEA. Possibly you should look at the EEA and see whether it could be something for you guys. We are. You are indeed. Yeah. And you're saying don't bother. Well, I'm not getting involved. President Johannesson, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. President Gudni Johannesson of Iceland. I've been getting away with it all.